Are your tires wearing unevenly? Do you hear clunking coming from your front end? These are all signs that your bowl joints may be in need of replacing. In today's video, we'll show you how to do just that with some high quality parts from MevoTech. We've got our excursion up on the lift and torn down, ready to get some new ball joints. We wanted to not only replace these ball joints, but also add some durability to the front end. With the MevoTech TTX upper and lower ball joints, we can do just that. These direct fit OE style joints provide increased flange thickness and larger ball pin that adds reliability and strength. The TTX ball joints also feature a knurled mounting surface that gives you a tight fit on high mileage or worn down suspension components in your Ford Excursion, Super Duty, Dodge Ram, or Chevy application. We're not just here to tell you about all these ball joints, but also give you a few tech tips on how to get these installed in your truck. I'm gonna press out the lower ball joint first and then move on to the top one. Biggest thing is making sure you're pressing this ball joint from the bottom and you have a cup receiving the ball joint that won't obstruct it while I push it through. A lot of you guys out there with different ball joint presses, if you have the pressing pin that's flat, you're gonna have to remove the grease fitting out of here, or you, you know, just take a hammer. Break it off and press that out. I'm gonna set the tool up for the upper ball joint. Same thing, I'm gonna set my cup to catch it. This ball joint is gonna press upward. All right, now that's the upper ones out. Next step is cleaning all the uh, surfaces. Biggest things for me, cleaning this ring right here. You wanna make sure the ball joint sits flush and is seated all the way. You don't wanna take any material away. The ball joint has to be pressed in, so obviously you take your material away, it starts affecting that press fit. And the other area I like to clean up now is right here for the wheel bearing vacuum hub seal. Just clean this outer edge really good. Just wanna make it as easy as possible. Now that we're all cleaned up, we're gonna start by installing the upper ball joint first. So obviously we're gonna do this all in reverse fashion, upper first, then lower. When you're pressing these in, you're gonna to wanna to stay on this outer ring right here. Try not to press from the center or push on the top. You're gonna to ruin the ball joint. So what I like to do is I take a little uh, anti seize, never seize, and just put a little bit around the bowl joint. It's not so much to keep it from ever seizing in there, but more of a lubricant to help you install it. Now, Mevo Tech actually supplies a ring or a pressing cup. So I just set that in there. It's a little snug. Um, and then I'm gonna take my cup stack that right on top of it. To open that up a lot more. I was saying we're gonna press this from the top of the knuckle inward. So you're gonna have to get a cup that leaves enough of a gap so when the ball joint's pressed in, you're not bottoming out and damaging the ball joint before it's seated. All right, now that that's in there, we just wanna make sure it's actually seated all the way, which that looks like it pressed in perfectly. And you can see on this side, obviously the ball joint just sits just over flush. Um, it does have a snap ring groove and they do supply snap rings and cotter pins would go there if the groove actually went out. In this application, it does not do that. So I wouldn't worry about the snap rings, just supplied since this ball joint fits multiple vehicles. Now we're gonna do the lower one which is gonna install pretty much in the same fashion. Put it from the top, press it down. Now 
gonna do the same thing I did with the uppers. The lower obviously does get a snap ring, so we'll put that on. There's that, and the bottom, just take out the plug, and same thing, either put the straight or the 90 grease fitting, whichever one you prefer. Um, usually the 90 is a little easier if you can point it inward, easy to get to. Just install the knuckle. Slide it up right through there, put the top nut on. Install the lower nut. Just gonna snug down the top one a little bit. Just gonna bring the whole knuckle up. But you don't wanna torque this down just yet. Once we have the lower ball joint nut snug, you go back to the top, bring that one down. We're actually gonna torque this to 35 foot pounds and then go back to the lower nut and torque that down to 140 to about 160 foot pounds. All right, that's final torque. We'll have to obviously put a cotter pen through the top. And in this case, we're gonna have to go a little bit more to line that up. You just never wanna back off on the nut to line anything up. All right, final step, slide the cotter pin in. So when it comes time to fix your front end, don't just replace parts. Choose quality replacements you can depend on with Mevotech TTX ball joints for your truck. Get the parts you need to keep your truck riding smoother for longer at xdp.com.